as wine is inclined to refine the fine line between the equine on the Rhine and the brine found when you dine, it also encourages a Congo line that smells nothing like Georgia pine and endures the tine of a certain utensil when you dine. I don't expect your face to shine when receiving this, for it's not Tarzan on a vine nor John Francis Appleby tying his twine. In fact, you may whine for it's not beer in a stein, but that's fine, because this is now yours, not mine. As a friend and subject of a future shrine, I would not only go to the Mason-Dixon line or the international date line risking a speeding fine, I would climb the Sierra Lodge pole line and or an electromagnetic delay line, risk my personal credit line and stand in an employment line for you buddy. I may not be Chris Pine and provide an enterprise for you, but I did work there, rain or shine. My powers aren't divine nor as unique as the acoustic delay line Johnny Cash's Walk the Line or Boy with the Coin by Iron and Wine. America's heartland, 9, the spine. Without it, there would be no roads to assign a sign warning us to watch out for crossing swine. There would be no sewer line, or it would only intertwine less orderly than an alkaline assembly line for batteries that are being made for an Institute of Neuromorphic Engineering. You could say you were the sign, or even the cosine for the structure of our modern society, to not agree is malign. To combine both I and state of mind from the first paragraph's first line about wine with a number I will decline to let shine for it's as explosive as a naval mine and as bright as a rock found in a Nunavut mine, I will resign this letter and resign my writing to this fate of mine, that the only number one greater than eight has become your destiny, for the stars will align and you will be the benign ruler of billions, after your 27 year tradition in celebrating birth, 21 days before mine.